Welcome to Ghost Rat Sec. Today we have some really awesome news about the High Boy Kickstarter. I also have information about the BLE Shark Nano. So let's jump into these updates. First of all, the High Boy is now going to get 5 gigahertz capabilities. That's right. It will be implementing the ESP32C5 along with the ESP32S3. It's going to have a dual band MCU. What that means is that the high boy is going to have double the processing power, plus the added bonus of pen testing 5 gigahertz networks. Now the reason why this is so exciting is that high boy wanted to reach their million dollar goal on their Kickstarter to get these features. Now the high boy Kickstarter launch was very successful. Within the first 10 minutes, they ended up reaching their goals. Currently, as I'm recording this, a day before this information is supposed to get released, they're sitting at $140,000 worth of pledges. This is well below what they were initially asking to get these capabilities. This is all because they listen to the community and they realize how important it is for us to have these capabilities built in. On top of that, they're also working on a purple see-through case for this device just because a couple of people mentioned, hey, this would be a really cool thing to have with this product. And they listened. This is the first time I've ever seen a Kickstarter do something like this. Usually Kickstarters wait for them to make the money that they want to make first and then they start listening to community feedback and then they start adjusting off of that. This Kickstarter is so grateful that they're actually listening to the community even before they raise the money that they initially wanted. They're already making changes based off the community feedback. This is a really good sign for High Boy. Now you can also expect RFID implemented with this device as well because that was the initial promise if they reach 100k and that's also going to be added. Other awesome thing about this is that they're already testing the 5 gigahertz capabilities with the prototype and it's working. They're going to be posting images soon of this. Lower capabilities is now the stretch goal. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the High Boy as well as their Discord link. So if you want to get real-time updates, you can in their Discord server. Now let's talk about the BLE Shark Nano and what's going on behind the scenes. So they haven't released any updates yet to the community, but I do talk to them behind the scenes quite frequently. And I asked, hey, is there anything I could share with the community about things that are going on? And here's a summary of what they told me. We officially moved into a new warehouse and our team is now working full time to get everything out the door. Right now, the plan is to begin shipping website pre-orders by the end of November and ship all international Kickstarter orders by the end of November. We're pushing hard for every unit to be out as fast as possible. Now I'm going to talk about the M1. I still haven't had any new updates from them. They haven't sent me anything. They haven't answered any of the questions I sent them. I'm still waiting on them also waiting on interrupt they haven't sent me anything either they said they were going to make an update and then completely disappeared again so we're still waiting on interrupt as well so that's pretty much it for the community updates about these hacking gadgets and kickstarters now one thing i'm kind of looking in the background is the key dot because of the rumored ai scripting capabilities let me know if that's something you guys want me to look into because I really do believe that the next generation of these hacking gadgets and the next wave would be these AI capable tools. So let me know what you think about that in the comments and thank you guys for listening to this update video and do me a favor and remember, safety is an illusion. Yeah.